Hi, we're The Great Summit, and in this video, we're going to show you the highly awaited new update of the Texture Manager for Cinema 4D. It took a while, but this new release is packed with new features that will change your material workflow forever. For the people who are unfamiliar with the TGS Texture Manager, this plugin can smartly read PBR texture folders and create materials for you. You probably have a lot of beautiful textures from many different sources. Our plugin can store them with a preview and import them in a single click for you. We can create materials for Redshift, Octane, Arnold, V-Ray, Corona and Physical Render Engine. In the 2.0 release, we made it more than just a library for PBR textures. You can now also create your own preset materials, meaning you can save your favorite materials with a preview and import them when needed. How often do you create a material on which you spend hours perfecting it? That wet floor with puddles, for example, or a scratched, rusted metal look. Now you can save those materials and use them again. Here's how it works. Select the material you'd like to save in your scene. You can also select multiple materials, but for now, let's save one. Go to Add Preset Material inside the plugin. Before you press the Add Preset button, make sure the render engine at the top is the same as your material preset. In our example, this is Redshift. Now hit Add Preset. And there you go, your material is added to the library and a thumbnail is created. You can now right-click and import the material into any scene again. And if you go to your finder, you can see it's just a .c4d file with all assets collected into one folder. The second major feature in this release is the upgrade of the preview system. You can now fully customize the previews and render them with all render engines in the drop-down menu. In the previous release, all previews were created with the default standard render engine, but now we can create the thumbnail with the engine you select at the top. This means you can directly see what the material will look like. Here is the material build with Redshift. You can now adjust the textures or import the material. Let's hit Import. As you can see, we also have support for the new node materials for Redshift. You can still switch to the old system in settings if you prefer. Now let's also build it for Octane, as you can see, the thumbnail updates to a preview build with Octane. Let's do it one more time for Arnold. As we said, you can also customize these previews. To do that, open the C4D file for that render engine and change whatever you like. Different HDR, faster render time settings, or even change the sphere for another model. Do whatever you like. Another brand new feature is now the option to resize the textures. Saving VRAM is becoming more and more important these days. So, for example, if 8K textures are not needed, you can now resize this before importing. Select, for example, 2K. Our system will detect if this is already in the folder. If not, it will create those textures for you. The great thing is, you can now always switch between the resolutions. We also made a lot of speed and workflow improvements. If you already purchased the TGS Texture Manager, this 2.0 release is completely free. Check it out on thegreatsummit.com. As you may already know, The Great Summit is a part of Drop and Render. This is our render farm where we can help you with your renders. We've built a very smart render plugin that checks over 300 settings before you upload your job. It's as easy as rendering locally and you can monitor your renders from everywhere. Please make sure to check it out. Link is in the description.